Hey guys, so it's been a while since I made videos like these. It's been a hot minute. But I want to talk about uh, Biden and Kamala. Ma Jeez, I can't even pronounce her name right. Don't take her seriously enough for that. Biden and Kamala Harris's uh, comments about the recent uh, mass shootings in this country, which it's ironic that these are that these are happening in such frequency now. As opposed to when it happened under the previous administration but I might be looking too deep into things so uh, let's take a look at what Biden said I really don't care what Kamala Harris said it's the same bullshit I've been hearing for a while now uh, X-ray he said a 22 caliber bullet will lodge in the lung and we can probably get it out maybe able to get it and save the life a 9 millimeter bullet blows the lung out of the body so the idea of these high-caliber weapons is that there is simply no rational basis for it in terms of what we hear about self-protection, hunting. I mean, I just, I remember, the Constitution, the Second Amendment, was never absolute. So, there's a lot to unpack there. He said, 9mm will blow the lung out of the body. I really don't see anything that has to do with what a bullet does and its impact on the body. It's doing what it's supposed to. So that's number one. And number two, the fact that he called 9mm high power really just shows that he has never, ever seen what a firearm does, ever. He doesn't know what high power is, and he doesn't know what firearms do and what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to do this. They're supposed to negatively impact the human body in the way they do. And third, the Second Amendment is absolute. The right of the people to keep and bear arms, to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Sounds pretty absolute to me. Anyways, I got some old video footage of some 9mm action, so check this out and determine for yourself if these are high powered. That bad? That was pretty close. Yeah. You gotten really good with that. So the point of showing those, even that kind of malfunction with the Polymer 80 that I put together, was to show that the handgun is not high powered. The handgun is a 9mm, which is one of the most popular handgun cartridges in the world. It's been NATO standard for a very long time. It's been law enforcement standard for a very long time. It's not a new cartridge, so there's nothing new under the sun that it's doing that somehow makes it different. What's different is that there's now politicians and dumbasses in charge of representing the people, and apparently the people want the most common, the most widely used, the most effective handgun cartridge ever to be banned because it's now high-powered. The handgun's not high-powered. The AR-15 is not high-powered. Okay? Let me show you. So that's a 30 out 6 compared to the 9mm magazine. That's a 9mm. And this is the 30 out 6 compared to the barrel length of a 9mm. It's not high powered. The 30 out 6 is high powered. 
Just a no-nonsense reminder that politicians know nothing of what they talk about to which they claim to be professionals in, and they are playing you for idiots. Guys, be smarter. Don't give up your rights. Please don't, because, you know, it's just random that all these people come out of the woodwork just to pretend to care about something, like, uh, back in February, they pretended to be care to care about Ukraine and in March they pretended to care about Roe v. Wade and April they pretended to care about uh, children and then in May they pretend to care about uh, schools being shot up. They don't. They care about control and they're playing you for idiots. Please be smarter. See you guys next time.